Welcome back. It is No Chill Mustafa with Out There Santa Rosa and today we will be exploring Santa Rosa's historic railroad square. This neighborhood is a unique neighborhood where old meets new. So one of the things that we're going to be looking for is retro items, retro finds. We're going to be looking at an underground comic shop, ice cream cocktails, a costume store. We are right here. Railroad Square. And this is actually the visitor center. If you come to this neighborhood by train, it's gonna drop you off right here. And then you have all of this to explore. One of the first things you'll probably see is Hotel La Rose, one of the oldest buildings in Santa Rosa. There's just so much to explore here, so much history. We're gonna start it off right over here at the Bat Cave, this underground store. A lot of people don't know that Santa Rosa has this underground shop and it's a comic shop, but it's way more than a comic shop. It has uh, toys. So if you're looking for nostalgia, this is a place to be at. They have toys from like way back in the day. They have prototype toys. Here's the last Starfighter pro prototypes. I'm a little bit too young for this one, but there's definitely a lot of like 80s, 90s stuff here also. Look at all these comics. And today we are very lucky because we have one of the co-owners of the store, Mike, that is going to tell us a little bit about it. Uh, we basically focus on comics and toys, but we get a lot of overflow and crossover of other pop culture items like posters. We support local artists, so we have a lot of art prints. Um, but mainly the comics and toys is what people come here for. And can you tell us some more about the, the Star Wars prototypes? Star Trek. Star um, Trek. Okay, sorry. Big Star Trek. There. You might get some mad people on yeah. your blog. Yeah. <laughs> Todd Hensley, he's been uh, sculpting toys since the 80s. He went he retired during the p pandemic and closed the studio down. We were lucky enough to get first dibs on buying out all the prototypes. So you'll see like the very first Playmate Star Trek toy ever made. You'll see just tons of produced and unproduced toys that were made through his studio a lot of disney stuff a lot of mcdonald's stuff but he was one of playmates toys go-to sculptors for all of the 80s and 90s so now we have ian so ian likes to shop here we just found him browsing through some goodies ian what do you like best about this shop everything everything yeah takes all my money there's all this great pop culture stuff from even when i was a kid see i used to have that darth vader Captain Kirk, one of my favorites right there. Godzilla is a huge, huge uh, part of my life. Uh, not so much Power Rangers, but they got toys. They got old comics, which is great. We're looking right now at the largest comic wall in Northern California. <laughs> Arguably the largest selection of comics in Northern California. And we're standing right here in front of it. Look, the wall just keeps on going. They got stuff from the 1940s all the way up until now. Look down here, old school Looney Tunes. Whoo! After leaving the Batcave, we're gonna head over to Whistle Stop Antiques. Here we are inside Whistle Stop Antiques, Santa Rosa's top antique shop and there's a bunch of people here so i'm kind of trying to keep my voice down but there's three things that attract people to the store from all over the place people travel to this shop in santa rosa to get bake light jewelry they have a wide selection of bake light jewelry if you don't know what bake light jewelry is it's like one of the first plastics ever made they made it into jewelry and you could buy it here but here we have the second most sought after item here at this store and that is these uh, metal signs, these old retro metal signs. We, here we have an old school Coca-Cola pickle and their top selling sign is this one right here. You know, being in Northern California, the Devil's Harvest sign, they can't keep it in stock because so many people pick it up. So look, here we have uh, more of them and people come from all over the place to swoop these up, put them up in their garage, put them in their rooms, offices, etc. One of the most sought after items in this store is vintage jewelry. So here we have a wide selection of all different types of earrings, rings, necklaces, bracelets, just about anything you could think of. If you're feeling hungry, you can't go wrong with any restaurant on Railroad Square. However, one of the most popular is right here, Grossman, a deli. We made it inside Grossman's and we're in luck because not only do we have Ian here again, but we have the chef. 
So what, what makes uh, Grossman so special? Uh, Grossman is just awesome. Great food, great vodkas, great knishes. What's your, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite dish here? My favorite dish is the crepe lock. The crepe lock? Or uh -huh. a pastrami Reuben or a wine burger. Totally delicious. So it sounds like they have a lot of awesome food here. So we have the general manager now and he is going to tell us about all the secret little friends references. All right, so it's the owner's favorite TV show and they've got some memorabilia all over the place. You can see Moot Point on the wall over here is a reference to a Friends episode. We have Stanley the monkey up in the window here. <laughs> Joey doesn't share food is a direct quote from a Friends episode also. And then we got the Pat the Dog cocktail. So this cocktail features vodka, lo-fi gentian amaro, which is a local um, distillery amaro. It's made with grapes and herbs and spices. And then we also add grapefruit juice. There it is. Half a dog. Okay, so we got the friends cocktail right here. We're gonna have Ian try it. You are a taste tester today, so it's pink. It's like grapefruit. Oh, okay. I'm not highly allergic to grapefruit, so that's a good thing. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. If you're exploring the area and you get hungry, make sure you come by. Great food, great drinks, or if you're just a fan of the show Friends, so many Friends references. See how many Friends references you can find in this restaurant and leave them in the comments. Old Santa Rosa is known for its beer. But you can also wine taste right here on 4th Street at 4th Street Cellars. And if you mention Out There Santa Rosa, you can get two for one tasting. So make sure you stop by and mention Out There Santa Rosa. Coming up, we have some handmade ice cream. What if I told you that you can get ice cream cocktails in Santa Rosa? Here at Nimble and Finn's, they literally have exactly that. They're ice cream cocktails. So it's, it's like a... Imagine like a root beer float, but made with actual alcohol. If you've never tried an ice cream cocktail, make sure you come over here to Nimble and Finn's right here on 4th Street on Historic Railroad Square. Looks like the sun came back out. That concludes today's vlog. Remember, like, subscribe, share, let all your friends know. Make sure you visit the Out There Santa Rosa website. And we'll see you next episode. We also have all these other cool vlogs we've shot, so make sure you check them out if you haven't already.